The silk is produced by an insect called silk moth. The silk moth is scientifically called as Bombyx mori. What? An insect produces silk? How, Bob? To know how, I'll tell you the life history of silk moth. There are four stages in the life history of silk moth. They are egg, larva, pupa and adult. The first stage of life is egg. Adult silk moth lays about 300 to 500 eggs on the leaves of mulberry plants. Eggs develop into caterpillar larva. Now the second stage is caterpillar larva. The caterpillar feed on mulberry leaves voraciously and grow into full size in one month. The larva is covered by tough covering and it changes the covering during its growth. This process is called molting. Silkworm molds four times by the time it completes its growth. The third stage is called pupal stage. The larva after completion of growth stops feeding and starts spinning a silk covering around its body. This is called cocoon and this stage is called as pupal stage. The larva inside the cocoon undergoes many changes and becomes a moth. This process is called metamorphosis. This is the last stage in the life of silk moth. When fully formed, the moth breaks the cocoon and comes out. It leaves for about a week. Amazing! Bob, what is silk? Silk is a fibrous material made up of protein called fibron. Silk is secreted by silk glands of silk moth. Bob, then how silk is prepared? Silk is prepared from cocoons. When cocoons are fully formed, they are transferred to boiling water for short time to kill the worm and then cocoons are dried. silk thread is recovered from cocoons. The silk is mulberry silk. Bob, do we have any other types of silks? Yes friend, the other types are tester silk, airy silk and munga silk. Thank you very much Bob. Now I understood. The story of silk.